What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to perform curve fitting in Python using the scipy package. Here we have a set of data that you can see has a linear trend, but there's a lot of variation in the data. And let's say we want to create a trend line that models this data effectively. So the first step in creating a trend line is to first just look at the data you're given. If we look here, we see that this data is increasing linearly. There is a lot of variation from point to point, but the general trend is upwards and in a linear fashion. So what do we know about linear equations? Well, we know that a linear, linear equation fits the form y equals ax plus b. So if we wanted to graph a line, let's create a function called linear and it's gonna take the arguments x, a, and b, and it's gonna return a times x plus b. a and b are constants of the linear equation and x is the variable. So first, let's just plug and chug with this equation and try to find a value that fits. So let's just say a guess equals five, and the intercept guess equals 1.65. So if we actually want to plot this linear equation with the values a equals five and b equals 1.65, we would create an empty list called fit, and we would say for i and t, and t is our x values here, defined with the lens space, we would say fit.append, we're gonna call the linear function, and the first argument, which is x, is gonna be i, which is in this for loop. The a value is constant, and that's gonna be a guess, and the b value is also constant, which is gonna be b guess. So to plot this, we're gonna say plt.plot t and fit, and we've appended the fit data in this for loop. So let's run this and take a look at what we get. We do get a line, but it doesn't exactly fit. Maybe the a was a little bit off, so let's lower it to 1.09, and let's change the intercept to 1.4. Let's take a look at what we get now, and now it's a little bit below it. So we could go back and iterate through and through, changing the values of a and b until we get something that resembles the data we have. But it turns out there's a function that does this for us, and that's called curve fit. And that's from the scipy.optimize import curve fit. So when we call the curve fit function, what it's doing is performing this iterative process automatically. So it's taking the data that you have plotted and guessing values of A and B that best fit the data for you. So instead of having to come and change this manually, it's performing it automatically and accurately. So the curve fit function uses three input arguments. The first is the actual function that you guessed. And the reason I say guess is because you can have any function you want. You can have AX squared plus B to fit this data or maybe sine of X plus B or something but that's gonna be up to you to decide what form of equation you want to resemble the trend line that you're trying to plot. For this data, we've determined that the linear trend line is the most appropriate fit, so let's just stick with this linear function we've defined. The first argument is gonna be linear, which is a function. The second argument is gonna be t, which are the x values in this plot, and the third argument is gonna be y, which is the actual data we have. Curve fit returns the optimized constants in the form of a tuple. So let's define a variable called constants equals curve fit. And to actually index the a and b values, we're gonna say that a fit equals constants, which is the result of curve fit. And it's at the zeroth index at the zeroth spot. Both of the a and b values are stored at the zeroth index. So to access only the a value, we're gonna add another bracket of zero. Curfit takes the function that you defined and it looks at the number of input parameters you have in the function and it will return n minus one inputs that you've defined in the function. So if we weren't doing linear, let's say we have something like c and d as constants, it would return four values instead of two that we have here in our linear fit. So now the B fit is gonna be constants at the zeroth index and spot number one to find the B value. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but instead of using the guess values for our linear function, we're gonna use the B fit and the A fit and see what we get when we plot it. Now we have a curve fit, a linear trend line 
that more closely resembles the pattern that we have in our data. There's no guessing, there's no plug and chugging we have to find the linear value. We just use curvefit and Python does the work for us. An important thing to remember is that the steps we've just followed is the same for any set of data that you're given. The only thing that changes is the type of curve that you have. So if we look at this curve, we see that instead of a linear trend line, it's actually sort of resembles a logarithmic trend line. You can see it starts off very low and then it increases and then it starts to decrease or level off. So we're going to follow more or less the same pattern, but we're going to change the linear function. Let's just call it logarithmic. And instead of returning a times x plus b, let's make it return a times log of x plus b. Instead of using the linear function in the curve fit function, we're going to use the logarithmic. And now the same ideas apply. Here we're going to go into our fit populating function and change it from linear to logarithmic. Let's plot the fit data and take a look at what we get. We see that the trend line is performing very accurately to the data that we have. And this is an important concept when curve fitting with SciPy. SciPy will do the iteration for you, but you still have to decide on what function is best for what you have. I hope this video is helpful to everyone out there. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching.